Welcome to the Boyd Auto Body and Glass. Three keys to the game. I'm Ed Tate from BlueBombers.com. Joined as always by the lovely and talented Derek Taylor of CGOB, the voice of the Bombers on CGOB. Bombers, Alouettes, really compelling matchup. Montreal's not nearly the tire fire that a lot of us thought in the winter. They've been a real solid through the first half of the season. Let's get right to the three keys. And number one, the big news in Bomberland is Zach Caleros is back. What does that mean for this offense? It's it's enormous, right? He's the MLP two times running for a reason. Yeah, he gets his front end smashed in in the game against Edmonton. I don't know if it was the trainers, it was Boyd Auto Body and Glass that fixed him up, but he looks really good at practice this week. And, and I mean, Drew Brown was excellent in that Edmonton game, fine in the Calgary game. Kolaris is just an impossible standard with the plays he can make from from the pocket, when he plays he can make out of structure. He scrambles to keep things alive. His accuracy has always, for me, uh, been the biggest part of his game. So uh, to have him back, I mean, you know as fans, it's it's absolutely enormous, and we're excited to see it tonight. One of the, the new faces on this Alouettes team that's really made an impression is receiver Austin Mack, who leads the league in receiving yardage, and he's a guy that you want to keep an eye on, too. Yeah, absolutely. He's this far ahead of Dalton Schoen, and a similar story to Schoen, right? Schoen, first year in the CFL, leads the league in receiving. Mack, first year in the CFL, leads the league in receiving. We saw it in the first game, 115 yards, and they love step back and huck it up deep to Austin Mack and trust that he's going to win jump ball situations. At six foot two, no real surprise. So all the defensive backs, they all know this and they're going to be ready for it. But yeah, four receivers to one side, Austin Mack alone to the other side. Just watch and see what Fajardo does because I believe it'll be 81 they're going after. You mentioned him, third key, the Bombers versus scrambling quarterbacks, and Cody Fajardo can scramble as well as anybody. Yeah, does this remind you of anybody? Oh, reverse spin out! Ah, ah, Ed, does that remind you of exactly what Cody um, Fajardo's been doing? I was going to say, I, I guess that's your Cody Fajardo impersonation. So it wasn't very good, but he's been doing that for four years, and, and Cody's game is more than that, but he does provide the scrambling element that, you know, your ends need to be aware of. Adam Big Hill needs to be aware of. If you can get pressure from the middle and pin him in on the ends, it's going to be fantastic. He had 40 yards rushing in the first game, and that was rainy and ugly. On a good night, he could be 75 or 80 if you don't treat him right. So Fajardo, back after a couple games out, deserves a ton of respect from this Bombers defense. Should be a dandy, Bombers and Alouettes. For the lovely and talented Derek Taylor of CGOB, I'm Ed Tate from BlueBombers.com, and that's the Boyd Auto Body and Glass, three keys to the game.